On the campaign trail, Mayor de Blasio remaining insistent. He's a liar and a felon. That's all you need to know. His honor defending himself against the testimony of one of his biggest campaign donors, real estate developer Jonah Recknitz, that he was part of a pay to play scheme at City Hall. I covered this very clearly. He said things aren't true about me. On his third day of testifying in the bribery trial of former correction union boss Norman Seabrook, Recknitz again talked about his weekly contact with de Blasio through email, text, phone calls, and communication through the mayor's campaign finance director, Ross Offen. In court, Recknitz admitted to gifting Offinger with paid hotel accommodations for a vacation in the Dominican Republic. When pressed by CBS 2's Marsha Kramer, can you tell us what lies he's told? I've already spoken. What, what are the lies? What are the specific lies? New. The mayor tried to steer attention back to his campaign, making an appearance with Bernie Sanders and getting the endorsement of Senator Charles Schumer, who was asked if he ever reconsidered his support of the mayor given the corruption allegations. Again, to me, far and away, the two most important criteria in endorsing a mayor are is crime down, are jobs up. But the mayor's opponents in next week's election quick to call for a further investigation into Recknick's claims. This mayor has continued to play New Yorkers for fools. This witness was credible enough for the U.S. Attorney's Office. What he's saying in this courtroom right now is pay for play. Now, back in March, Recknick did plead guilty to donating money to government officials in exchange for favors. He also admitted to withholding information from federal investigators until he was offered leniency in his sentencing in exchange for his testimony in this trial. Reporting live this morning from Lower Manhattan, Janelle Burrell, CBS 2 News.